In our previous presentations, we learned what are the different types of functions we have in asymptotic notations. Now in this lecture, we will solve the problem based on functions in asymptotic notations. Let's get started and let's see what are the topics. The topic of this lecture is functions in asymptotic notations solve problem. Now let's solve the problem based on asymptotic notations. Here is the problem. Write the following functions in asymptotically increasing order. Our job is to arrange these functions in asymptotically increasing order. But how do we do this? These are the different types of functions and we need to arrange these functions in asymptotically increasing order. We concluded the last lecture with the statement that decrement functions are asymptotically less than constant functions. Constant functions are asymptotically less than logarithmic functions. Logarithmic functions are asymptotically less than polynomial functions. And polynomial functions are asymptotically less than exponential functions. This is the order we need to follow for different types of functions in asymptotic notations. This arrangement is in asymptotic increasing order. First, we need to find out all the decrement functions that we have here in this list. Do we have any decrement function? We do have a decrement function 0.3 to the power n, which is equal to 3 to the power n divided by 10 to the power n, because 0.3 can be written as 3 by 10, and this is equal to 3 power n divided by 10 power n. 10 power n is greater than 3 power n, therefore, denominator is greater than numerator. And hence, 0.3 power n is the decrement function. What about 1.5 power n? 1.5 power n is 15 to the power n divided by 10 to the power n, which is not the decrement function. So, this is not the decrement function because 10 to the power n, which is the denominator, is less than 15 to the power n, which is the numerator. So, this is not the decrement function, but this is the decrement function. Apart from this, we do not have any other decrement function. Therefore, the decrement function is 0.3 to the power n. What about constant functions? Let's see whether we have any constant function here or not. We do have two constant functions, 100 and 1 billion. Why are we calling these constant functions? Because they are not dependent upon the size of the input or the value of n. Hence, 100 and 1 billion are constant functions. What about logarithmic functions? We do have two logarithmic functions, log n and log n to the power 10. Please understand this, that n square log n is not the logarithmic function because here we have the multiplication with the polynomial function which is n square. n square in n square log n is the dominating term. Hence, the growth rate of this function depends upon the n square, not log n. Therefore, n square log n is not the logarithmic function. But log n and log n to the power 10 are both logarithmic functions. Therefore, the logarithmic functions are log n and log n to the power 10. What about polynomial functions? We do have n square log n. This is the polynomial function because n square is the dominating term here. What about n to the power 3.1? This is also the polynomial function because according to the definition of the polynomial function, it is usually n to the power k where k represents some constant. This is in the form of n to the power k where k is equal to 3.1 and 3.1 is the constant. Therefore, n to the power 3.1 is the polynomial function. Similarly, n cube is also the polynomial function. Therefore, we have a total of three polynomial functions. We have n to the power 2 log n, n to the power 3 and n to the power 3.1. Now, what about exponential functions? Do we have any exponential function here? We are left with just 1.5 to the power n. And this is the exponential function because an exponential function is of the form c to the power n, where c is some constant. 1.5 is the constant and n is the size of the input. Therefore, 
1.5 to the power n is the exponential function. Therefore, the exponential function is 1.5 to the power n. Now, let's place these functions one by one according to the asymptotic increasing order. First, we need to place 0.3 to the power n here. Then we have 100 and 1 billion. Out of these two, 100 is clearly less than 1 billion. Therefore, we can place 100 before 1 billion. 100 is less than 1 billion. This can be written here after 0.3 to the power n. Now we have 0.3 to the power n less than 100 less than 1 billion. Then we have logarithmic functions log n and log n to the power 10. Log n is less than log n power 10 because log n power 10 is log n multiplied by itself 10 times. This is just log n. Clearly log n is less than log n to the power 10. Hence, log n is less than log n power 10 and this expression can be written here after 1 billion. So we have 0 0.3 power n less than 100 less than 1 billion less than log n less than log n power 10. What about n square log n, n power 3, n power 3.1? n power 3.1 is greater than n power 3 because here we have 3 plus 0 0.1. This means we have 0.1 extra here. But in this case, we have only 3. Clearly, n power 3 is less than n power 3.1. What about n square log n? Here we have n square into n and here we have n square into log n. Log n is less than n. Therefore, n square log n is less than n power 3. So, n square log n is less than n power 3 is less than n power 3.1. We now can place this after log n power 10. Then we have 1.5 to the power n, which is the exponential function and it comes at last. So, this is the final result obtained. We have arranged all the functions in asymptotically increasing order. So, we are done with this problem and this means we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.